Reddit, what's the worst thing you ever found out from a game of truth or dare? You guys should learn paranoia. A drinking game. You sit in a circle and it starts with someone whispering a question to the person to their left, or right, whatever. The question should basically require the answerer to pick someone in the room as the answer, such as who in the room is most likely to become a success? Who in the room would make the worst parent or who in the room would you sleep with if you had to etc? They give their answer to the group. Whoever got named as the answer has to drink to hear what the question was. If they don't everyone else can drink to find out the question. Basically it always ends up with someone outraged upset that someone would give their name as the answer to something negative. It's fun. Edit, thanks very much to whoever gave me gold. It is greatly appreciated. That being dared to pee on your friend and actually doing it ruins your friendship with them. Yes. Ice cubes do fit inside middle school vaginas. That nobody wants to kiss me. Well. I found out from a game of truth or dare a girl I truly had no romantic interest in was super into me. The air of expectation after that came out for me to do something or make a move was very disturbing for me. In the end. I didn't do anything. Her friends asked what was up. And I told them the truth and I broke her heart. I felt bad. But it. That I was the only one serious about streaking. Everyone freaked out. This asshole I knew regularly jacks off in the pool I swim in every day. It was during a drunken game of kings. And my girlfriend at the time revealed that she masturbated to the thought of my best friend ducking her frequently. I overheard it while learning her favorite song on guitar in my bedroom. I was pretty wasted so it was taking a while to figure out the chords. But once I heard that it I locked my door and drank myself to sleep. Edit, I'm not trying to be the masturbation police or anything. I know all bets are off when it comes to sexual fantasies. It was just a bummer to overhear my girlfriend say something like that. Especially in front of our friends. That my friend had randomly decided to wear my underwear one day. Had sex in them with another man. And had calmly returned and folded them into a pile of my clean underwear. When I asked him which ones. He asked me why I cared. I did a lot of laundry that night. I'm a male and I had to go into Victoria's Secret. Pick up a bra. And ask if they had one in men's size. That she tried to poison her grandfather with bleach after he molested her when she was really young and that she sold pictures of herself in a schoolgirl outfit to a stranger on Craigslist when she was 13. I like truth or death still. Bonus horror, I found those said pictures on 4chan by pure luck along with hundreds more of her that she had given to a guy. She held on to those pictures for 4 years and gives to her boyfriends. Edit, lots of people wanna see the pictures. Why? Also I wasn't looking for CP. Sickus. I was browsing B and I saw a thread that had a bunch of her pics in it. Some dumbass just dumped a bunch of her pics. Edit 2. I said it was pure luck out of sarcasm. She was my girlfriend at the time and I found out and thank god I found out when I did. I'm not saying I was lucky to find child porn. Whoops. We played the kind where everyone says the truth or everyone does the dare. The question was have you ever been pregnant or gotten someone pregnant. We were 14. One of the guys in our group had gotten his girlfriend pregnant earlier that year. They had an abortion. The girl I had just played football with earlier that day had been forcefully raped and impregnated by a 19 year old when she was 13. She was going to go through with the pregnancy. But had a miscarriage when she was 5 months along. Another girl said. I've never been pregnant. But I was raped too. The group wasn't that big. We just started talking after that. We had only just met each other. But that night we became very very close. That if a room full of girls asks how big your dick is. You're pretty stupid to not take the invitation. I was pretty stupid. That Sarah didn't want to touch my dick. That the girl I had a crush on wasn't into guys. The worst part. I was gonna ask her out that day. That my girlfriend was cheating on me. I found out that my younger brother was willing to do anything to impress my friends. He was a freshman while I was a junior, the dare that confirmed that was when he had to plop his balls onto a friend's head. 
he was dubbed potato sack after that. That I could scratch a mate's balls, over the jeans, with a completely straight face while everyone else looks super uncomfortable. If you don't want to see it don't dare someone to do it. That the Chinese government does not approve of drunk people streaking on their streets. Edit okay so a lot of people apparently cannot see my reply containing this story later in the comment thread so I'll just post it here. Haha <laughs> sorry I was at work. And I'm on my cell phone on the subway. So bear with me. Anyways. Back in high school. I went to an international school in Shanghai. There. China technically has a drinking and smoking age of 18. But really no one gives a duck and my friends and I started clubbing around the end of sophomore year of high school. Anyways. Fast forward to my friend's 18th birthday party and we rented a hotel room and got belligerent. We started playing drinking games. Like never have I ever and gay by bow, Korean rock paper scissors, and we must have finished three handles amongst the eight of us. Anyways. We are all through Lee hammered and we get into a game of truth or dare. But. Ducking. Idea. See the problem with truth or dare drunk is that the moral and ethical restraints you have ducking out the door. People started making out. Others were flashing every body part in all its heart. And in some cases. Strange homoerotic glory. And it was a rich hour in the best form of the expression. Finally. It landed on me. I picked there because I'm a ducking idiot and they dared me to go streaking across the street. In my drunken stupor and 18 year old audacity. I said let's go chies. I go to the restroom. Change into the hotel bathrobe. And we all go downstairs. You must think the doorman must have thought it strange that a group of foreigner kids were leaving the hotel at midnight reacting of alcohol, all well dressed. Except for one ducker in a bathrobe. But nope. I guess that's just Friday night. Anyways. They all hide in the corner out of sight as I walk into the empty street. It was relatively empty. I could only hear the sound of cars in the distance going along their way, and the footsteps of native Chinese. Going about their night. I walk to the middle of the dimly lit road. Hands on the belt of my bathrobe. And welcome our Asian brothers of the east with my naked glory. I hear the roar of laughter from my friends. Some native Chinese guys were laughing along as a group of Chinese girls were cowering in fear. I have become awesome. Destroyer of dignity. Then I heard a -A -Y -Y -A -A -E -E. I turned around. Oh duck. Ducking popo. He was a good 50m away. So I used my years of rec and varsity soccer training to get the duck out of there. I ran down the next block. With the copper in pursuit. I went down a dark alley and thanked the drunk gods. I saw a biggest pile of garbage in a garbage container. I hoisted myself in. And wrapped myself in the bags of compost. Unknown liquids. And I'm sure plenty of it. I wait there for what seemed like eternity. Not knowing if the cop was still out there looking for me or if I was in the clear. After what seemed like eternity. I heard my friends calling out my name. I called them back. They came down my alley. I emerged from the garbage. Baptized by the pool of filth and it in trash. My transformation has been complete, in the spectrum of my life's journey. I have now forged my new identity. And that is why my friends call me Dirty Mike. When the girl I had been dating for over a month. When asked the last time she had sex responded. A week and a half. Her and I hadn't slept together yet. This game almost always ends in a confession that makes everyone uncomfortable. I'd suggest never playing this game with loaded questions. A very good friend of mine confessed he didn't think his dad was his natural father. This goes back to being teenagers and being drunk when playing. Well. Everyone kinda clicked when he said it. He had a oval shaped head. Skinny guy with blonde hair. His dad and younger brother were stalky and had a round face and freckles. It was obvious. Just something you don't think about being 16-17. He went on talking about how his dad never really accepted him. And how he did things for his dad over the years to make him worthy in his eyes. But never got treated the same as his younger brother. Was really sad. I guess at some point people need to get it off their chest. But imu this game starts as fun and normally doesn't end well. I got this one. I was about 19. And had never really played it before. Oh and I was kind of socially awkward. Anyway. Big group of people at a friend's apartment decided to play I can't remember who said what, but it probably went on for only 10 minutes before it comes to my turn. 
By this point it's kind of clear that our group is not the kind of group that plays truth or dare very well, very creatively or with any enthusiasm. In fact I think we were only playing it because we saw the characters on Friends playing it, but I digress. So anyway. It's my turn and having completely no idea what to ask anyone to do or say I ask a pretty girl in the group, who happened to be French Canadian, what's the most salacious sexual story you have, did I mention I'm a nerd? Anyway. The girl slightly misunderstands salacious and gets upset, do you really want to know? Do you really want to know that my uncle used to molest me exclamation point? There. Are you happy now? Are you happy exclamation point? After the very awkward silence that followed it was decided that we shouldn't play truth or dare anymore, 